Developments now coming in. These are visuals coming in of U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, in fact, meeting the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But what is important to focus is what the Defense Secretary, in fact, has told the Israeli Prime Minister. He, in fact, has gone on to say that the United States knows that what is happening in Israel is worse than ISIS. That's the word that's coming in. That the kind of atrocities that we are seeing, the barbarism that we are seeing in the visuals, in the deaths by the Hamas militants is now worse than ISIS. So big statement there being made by the United States. This is in fact the U.S. Defense Secretary who in fact has met Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Some visuals on your screens as well. United States of course continues to lend their support to Israel not just in terms of the multiple communications that continue to happen with U.S. authorities and ones in Israel but also in terms of support of armaments. For example the kind of aircraft that they're providing to Israel. We've already seen Antony Blinken also Secretary of State to visit Israel. Now you're having uh, visuals coming in of the U.S. Defense Secretary meeting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as well. But as we said, what is important to focus is the word that's coming in from the United States where they've gone on to say that the kind of barbarism, the monstrosity that we have seen, the kind of visuals that have emerged is worse than what we have seen by ISIS in the past. Siddhant is now joining us on the broadcast. Siddhant, this comparison to ISIS has been drawn over the last couple of days, but the United States has now gone one step ahead and they've gone on to say that this is something even we haven't seen in the past, the kind of barbarism that we are seeing in terms of how children are being butchered, how men and women are not being spared by the Hamas militants, it's today worse than ISIS. Right. In fact, uh, I, a short while back, I was speaking to a senior diplomat and I, I, have, I asked him this question. That do you think that uh, U.S. is involved in some sort of a back channel or, you know, perhaps uh, to build some consensus in the West Asia? Uh, Asia? Then he said that it's up to U.S. to answer. Right now, we are uh, uh, in a state of war with Hamas and we will stop only when we will kill each of these Hamas uh, terrorists who attacked uh, uh, Israeli soil, uh, the soil of Israel. Now, uh, today is the second high-profile visit of from United States of America. Yesterday, it was uh, uh, Anthony Blinken who was in Tel Aviv. He, in fact, met the victims of the Hamas terror. Today, it is uh, it is uh, Secretary of Defense uh, who is in Tel Aviv. He met the Defense Minister of uh, of Israel, and in fact, he also met uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Now, this is a big. Uh, sign that of, from United States that United States is standing strongly behind Israel in this war against Hamas. They have also moved their warships in the eastern Mediterranean. They have deployed their forces and the U.S. forces are on standby. So it's a sign, it's a signaling to the uh, to the rest of West Asia that okay. even if, they, if anyone or a non-state actor will try to take advantage of a situation. So as Siddhant is pointing out, the messaging by the United States is very clear that we stand strongly in solidarity with Israel. Siddhant, we'll have to leave that conversation.